This is the second of the four basic videos on teddy bear basics. You can make many teddy bears once you get the basics down. You will learn how to make a back and forth cinch cord and how to increase or make it bigger and cinching the cinch cord. In this uh, video you will need scissors, crochet hook, craft needle, loom hook, Nifty Knitter, Long Loom, 26 uh, peg size, the loom clips, and yarn. And uh, they are available on the internet at uh, Nifty Knitter. Uh, okay, now we're going to do the cinch cord. And this is a back and forth cinch cord for the top of the legs so that it'll tie them in together so it can sit down and won't have the width of the legs. Uh, See this little tail right here, this is the other end of this cinch cord here. I've brought it up through from the bottom and now we're going to go back and forth. You bring it to the inside like you do with all cinch cords and then you bring it up through the groove just like we did the tail on the, in the beginning. We go to the inside and only now we're going to go across and we're going to bring it up through on the other side and then back to the inside now we're going on to the next peg here because we've gone across and then we can go back the other way going across this time to the inside and then across and we'll just continue this all the way through and the tail comes out on the other side and if you've gone across, then the next one goes on to the next peg. And after you've gone to the next peg, then you go across. So it's back and forth, all the way through. And even though you've got those cross ones, because you were tying the two legs together there in the middle, you're still going to be doing the same kind of a thing across those uh, singer pegs too. Now this is the one where I was telling you, you already have one going across, but uh, you still want to go back across. Because the other one isn't to cinch things together, it's to tie off the middle. side and that time we didn't go across did we that other one's going across is the one I warned us about and now we can go to the next peg across the whole line because it kind of tears it apart if you don't And now I'm ready to go down, so I don't want to bring it up through, I want to take it down. And so we'll bring this across the top. Make sure again you still have it all the way under. And you pull that through, take it to the inside, and then come up through from the bottom. And with a crochet hook or with a hook itself, you take that and you just bring it back down through. And now you have the tail sticking down on each side. We have the back and forth cinch strap in. We're ready to do the increase. And do the increase by in two rows. Uh, in the first row we do an E loop around the end peg there to start peg and make a V or a triangle on each side. There's one side, now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. This extends out the outside pegs one more peg. Now that we've done that, now we uh, go back and take each of the sides. The side here is the 
one that you end up with on this side and you bring it across this triangle that ends up here put the hook down and pull it down and up and over do the same on the other side so that this inside of that triangle gets put across the extended peg and then down through this triangle and down and up and over and then you have two uh, loops on the outside peg so you take those back over and then you two pegs up the next row and then uh, you take this top one here that just went across those two pegs and you can slide it enough to get it over that uh, peg and then you bring it across then uh, keeping it taut now you just go on with the uh, straight stitch and then you do the same thing on the other side and then you'll come back to this one that we just got through with and do the second row okay we can take this out this uh, middle peg out that's uh, holding both legs together sometimes it sticks a little bit and you have to reach down and take it off of the lip but uh, and I, I just dropped it on the ground I'll pick it up later but uh, now you can see that uh, this is where we left the, this last time we've gone uh, around now and done it on the other side and now we're going to uh, do the second row and extend this peg out start by going in and getting this uh, second one in there and bringing it out and over one on the other side we already did and uh, when we did these two rows and then went back to it or these two pegs and then went back to it now we're ready to go after we've done that one to extend the peg out so we're going to go around that one we're doing e loop on the middle one just like we did when we started and then go around the end one and then bring the bottom one over the top and now we're going to take this one that has the E loop and we're going to extend it out and over this if you're not on the end you'll actually just move this middle peg but since you are on the end you just take out that uh, peg and uh, then you can tighten it putting pressure on this other uh, yarn that you'll continue on with and after you get that pressure on that's what it looks like and that's both uh, rows of the increase and then we go down to this other end and you'll see that it looks like that one did and then we'll extend this peg out the same way so that we have an increase on both ends and we're using the full width of this small 26 peg loom now that we've gone around uh, the end twice so we've gone once after this e loop on each end we're ready to start to gather he appreciates my wife Miriam and uh, Marcia with help.